for many of us, the two pillars of our day-to-day productivity are our to-do list and our calendar app. How can we use these two apps together to be more organized and more productive? Let's explore. Here I'm looking at my to-do list for today. And we're looking at a to-do list app called Things, which happens to be a very good app, but I'm gonna show you a variety of to-do apps and calendar solutions today as well. Some things that are on my to-do list today are to schedule a time for a video call with people to discuss some business stuff, to finalize the lesson outlines for an upcoming video course that I have on OmniFocus 4, a trip that I'm going on with a friend to book some flights, some accommodation, and to look into some visa stuff. I still wanna do a little bit of meditating. And of course, I am recording this particular video. So this is my to-do list for today. Now you'll see that in things at the top here, we have a little calendar block and I have two items on my calendar today, but let me actually just pull up my, my calendar app. That is my favorite one, which is called Fantastical. And we can see some calendar events on here as well. So earlier today, I had an appointment to grab some of my recording gear, the stuff you have here, which I haven't used in a while. Happy to be using it again. and. In a bit, I'm going to watch a TV show that I want to watch live. So the first question is, what goes in our to-do app and what goes in our calendar app? Well, anything that is time-bound, any appointments, any meetings where you want to do something at a specific time or more likely you have to do it at a specific time, that goes on your calendar. So in this case, I had to make an appointment to grab my recording gear from storage. If I didn't have to make an appointment for it, actually it would go in my task manager, but I did and so then it had to go on my calendar. And for me, there's no point in duplicating stuff. I don't need to see the same thing on my calendar as on my to-do list. And of course, if I wanna watch a TV show live, that goes on my calendar, right? Another example is that tomorrow evening, I'm going to a storytelling night and I wanna be there, you know, it's an event that starts at 7.30, I wanna be there at seven, so obviously that goes on my calendar. On Sunday, I'm gonna have lunch with my friend and I'm gonna finalize some of our joint travel plans. That's gonna happen at noon and it's gonna happen at a specific place. So that's going to be on my calendar. Now, how can you do these things together? Well, here's a good example actually because I want to propose a restaurant to meet my friend for brunch. So what have I done if in things I go to the upcoming view, I can actually see that I have a task that says propose a restaurant for brunch with my friend and has a deadline for Saturday because brunch is on Sunday. So got to at least propose a place to go on Saturday so that we can make a reservation because otherwise in Amsterdam, good luck trying to find a brunch place last minute. The event itself goes on my calendar, but a task that I have to do to prepare for it goes in my task manager. And that's a big distinction. Your task manager is generally for things that you're going to do. So the items that go in your task manager are, you'll want to phrase them in a really action oriented way. They always start with a verb, like propose a restaurant for brunch, record videos, etc. But this is actually another good example because I am going to be recording these videos on Saturday. Now, if I wanted to block off a specific amount of time for that, I could do that on my calendar and block recording videos here. Does that make sense? I like to do strength training, weightlifting, weightlifting four times a week, but I don't go at specific times. I go on specific days, but not specific times. So for tomorrow, there's strength training listed but it doesn't go on my calendar because I work by my or I work out by myself. I just go to the gym whenever it's convenient. On the other hand, if I were to meet a personal trainer, that would go on my calendar. If you have something like a meeting, which I know a lot of you will, the meeting itself goes on your calendar, but preparatory tasks go in your task manager. Let me give you an example. Let's say that on Saturday evening, less, more likely Monday, huh? Monday morning, I'm going to have a call with someone to discuss potential affiliation for new OmniFocus course. Okay, let's say that I wanna do that. I'm gonna to talk to someone who might be an affiliate for my upcoming course. That goes on my calendar, but the task in my task manager, um, which I will start like this, is prepare for a discussion with, let's call him Joe, about potential OmniFocus for course affiliation. So this is the task related to it. If the call is on Monday, then I'm going to say, I have to do this. Uh, I could set the deadline to Monday, but I'm gonna set it to Sunday just to make sure that I finish it the day before. And that's a business task, so I'll assign it to business. There you go. So this is how the two work together. Now this is pretty simple, but if you're using certain apps, things get a little bit more interesting. So let's look at the same to-do list for today in a different app called Todoist, which is also a very cool task manager. By the way, I'm gonna be showing you three task managers in total today, and I have video courses on all of these. So if you like the look of any of these, go check out my video course on each of these apps, things to do with them. I'm gonna show you OmniFocus later as well. I've also got cheat sheets, free cheat sheets for all of these apps. Uh, the links to those cheat sheets are in the description below the video. So here's my same to-do list, but now in Todoist. Now, one of the really cool things about Todoist 
is it synchronizes with your calendar if you're using Google Calendar or some apps that support it, such as Fantastical, my favorite calendar app right here. If I go into the Fantastical settings, then to account, then I can click enable this account. And now I actually see on my calendar both my events for today. So for example, I had the appointment earlier today. I'm gonna watch the TV show later, but also my tasks for today. I know they're a little bit squished. I can go to the day view and it'll look like this. So this is pretty cool. This is sort of an integrated way of looking at my day. Uh, you can see it in the sidebar here as well. These are all of my tasks and these are my events for today. And my tasks, again, are phrased in a very actionable way, right? Record video, have video edited, book fly to Bali, um, schedule time, book villa, etc. look into. You see that in Todoist, I've assigned some priorities for these. So red here means priority one. These are priority two tasks. And you can actually see that in Fantastical, these are also listed. Priority one tasks have three exclamation marks. Priority two tasks have two, etc. So it's a really nice integration right here. And another thing you can do, if I just switch back to the week view, and if I go to Todoist, has an upcoming feature, and I can scroll over to Saturday. Now in Todoist, I've scheduled a task, record course videos for 11 a.m. on Saturday. And that's where it appears in the calendar as well. Now the calendar, I've, I've actually scheduled it to be from 11 to three. And that part, the duration doesn't work well yet in Fantastical. I hope they're working on that because the duration feature in Todoist itself is fairly new. So hopefully Fantastica will catch up to that and start supporting that so that it doesn't just look like an hour and a half long block, but instead the correct four hour long block. But so this is a situation where we're starting to blend the to-do list and the calendar a little bit by time blocking. It's still different. This is still a task and not an event. And that's why it's part of Todoist in my calendar app. And so if I were using Todoist, this grab recording gear from storage task, I could have actually put that in Todoist today um, and I could have actually put that at a specific time. So I could say grab recording gear from storage. Now we're blending the two a little bit more and I could say today noon. And that will show up and this was, let's say a home thing. It will take a minute, I think, to synchronize that, but that's going to show up uh, right here on our calendar for today at about the same time, okay? So when you're using Todoist, there's a better integration. Now this app is called Fantastical and it does a fantastic job. It's really, really good. It's Apple only, unfortunately, as are some of the other apps that I'm mentioning today. Sorry about that. But there's another really fun calendar app called BusyCal, which is also quite good. And it basically does the same thing. It also has a Todoist integration. And so tasks show up here. And by the way, both BusyCal and Fantastical, the tasks don't just have to come from Todoist, they can also come from Apple Reminders. So you can turn this on and that integrates with the Apple Reminders app. That's pretty fun too. Apple Reminders has been getting better and better over the past years. And actually I recorded uh, an entire course on Apple Reminders recently as well. My video editor is working on it right now. That should come out sometime in the next few weeks from when I'm posting this video. So that's fun. Anyway, BusyCal, the concept is the same. You can see your tasks and your events all in, in one place. BusyCal is quite similar to Fantastical, just, you know, if anything, it's a bit more customizable. If you'd like, you know, take a look at the difference between these apps, but it's pretty cool. Let me just refresh Todoist, see if I can get this. Uh, there you go. Here's this task now. It's listed at 12 today. Unfortunately, again, it doesn't have a duration which is a shame. Now you might be thinking, okay, Peter is showing Fantastical and BusyCal. I don't use these apps. I don't want to use these apps, or perhaps you don't use Apple devices, so you cannot use these apps. What you can do instead is you, so let me just delete that one again, delete that task to avoid confusion. If you're using plain old Google Calendar, you can also connect Todoist to your Google Calendar and have your tasks showing like this. And the nice thing about using Google Calendar is that the to-do is duration is synced. So um, tasks that are scheduled for today, like book my flight to Bali and book my villa, have the video edited, but they don't have a specific time. They show up in the all day events section right here, but it's really all day tasks now. And a task like this one, recording course videos, which I wanna do from 11 to three on Saturday, will actually show up at the specific time. So this is really cool. We can integrate our to-do system and our task management system a little bit. Now, task management apps themselves will sometimes show the calendar events like we saw in Things, but we can also see that in OmniFocus right here. So OmniFocus is another task manager that I like a lot. This is a brand new version four that just came out recently. And you'll see one of the cool things about OmniFocus is it has this one view, it's called the forecast perspective, where it shows you both your events 
and your tasks all in one go, and you can drag those around. So for example, on Sunday, I've got lunch, or let's say brunch at noon, and I've got a couple of other tasks that I've already scheduled for Sunday. I can actually drag these in a specific order. So say, you know what? First, I'm gonna have lunch with my friend, then I'm gonna do strength training, then I'm gonna do my weekly review, then I'm gonna write my newsletter, which are tasks that I've pre-scheduled for that time. And so what OmniFocus is doing here is it's showing these events that are on my calendar. I can't manipulate them. It's just showing them for, again, an integrated view of my day, which is the same thing that Things 3 was doing earlier. So whichever app you use, there's a great way to use your to-do list and your calendar together. Just make sure you're putting all the actionable stuff in your task manager. Make sure you're putting all the time-bound stuff, your meetings, appointments, etc., that have to happen at a specific time or you have to show up somewhere at a specific time and place, even if it's a virtual place, put that on your calendar. Keep that distinction. And if you are using an app with a good integration, like Todoist, which again, you can use with Google Calendar or Fantastic Al BusyCal, some of the other apps that I showed, then you can start to play around together a little bit. Think about it. A lot of more things are potentially possible than what you've been using so far. And um, good luck. Let me know what you thought of this video. As always, like and subscribe. Check out my free resources. I got all of the links to all of the apps that I showed in the description below the video. Hey, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Ciao.